The Liberty Archery team looks to begin the 2016 fall season the same way they finished last year, as one of the top teams in the nation. With the archery team, again, our goal has been to grow the team for the past two years. Um, we've come a long way. We've come again from four shooters to eight to 12. Now we're up to 23 on the team. Uh, that's kind of our goal, grow the team. And now that we've grown it, we're looking to add that quality and uh, just again, get back to win those national titles. I am really excited about this upcoming season. We have a huge team compared to last year. And now that we have more people on the team, we can compete in more events because you have to have so many people on like shooting something like recurve or something like bow hunter in, a, in different events to be able to place and be on a team. So I'm really excited because we have a lot more people so we can place in more events. Definitely with the new members on the team, uh, it's looking like we're going to be really strong for the competition. Um, but also personally, I want to step up my scores. And uh, I came really close to national titles last year, so I want to try to actually get those this year. Um, so. I'm going to put in the hard work and the practice to try to make that happen. Pretty excited about it. Uh, looking forward to getting up here on the range and shooting some. It's kind of an advantage I hope to take, uh, or kind of an opportunity I'd like to take advantage of. As one of Liberty University Club Sports' most successful programs, the team looks to continue with the tradition that has garnered the Flames much recognition in the archery community. As the program has had numerous top 10 finishers at nationals, including eight individual national champions and one event team title since 2011. The history here at Liberty, it's not very long we've been doing archery, uh, about six years total. Um, but in that short time, we've won a lot of national titles. Um, we've come a long ways. and. The way we've grown the sport is by starting with a good foundation. Uh, we started off with uh, a couple shooters who are nationally known, who are great coaches, and who had established that, that foundation to grow off of. And having people like Ian Rigney on the team, uh, you know, they've won four national titles, uh, that always helps. <laughs> I'm from New Hampshire, so I traveled a long way just to be able to get down here and come to Liberty, and I knew that archery was what I wanted to do. And so just being able to bring my expertise in the Olympic recurve area uh, down here to where it's predominantly compound is a huge opportunity for me because everyone, whenever I first stepped in last year, they were like, what are you shooting? And I'm like, it's a recurve. And so definitely being able to diversify the team, but also like getting integrated into the local culture and like that national culture of archery is a huge thing for Liberty and other people are starting to notice it too, so that's pretty cool. Archery is an individual sport, but it's also a team sport. So we all compete against each other technically, but as a team against other schools. So we, in, we win individual awards as well as for the team. So the better each of us are, the better we are individually and for the team together. So I think that's really cool. So, uh, like I said, the guys were coming before me, Ian Rigney, the assistant coach, he's had four of the team's eight championships, so hopefully I can add on to that, uh, see where it goes from there. Um, but as far as, and the team has a really good reputation throughout the archery communities, um, being pretty well when we arrive on the buses, the people know who we are. Um, so just kind of an honor to be part of the team. With a very seasoned team featuring 10 competitors that competed at the U.S. Indoor National Championships last March, the Flames are ready and eager not only to make their mark, but ultimately win multiple event team titles and win the program's first outright national team title. Yeah, uh, so basically we've had, we have a, really, a couple of really good shooters on the team this year and uh, under the instruction of Mitch and uh, Ian and Hunter, it, we have a really good shot at getting a bunch of the team titles this year that we've come close to getting but haven't quite gotten in the past. Just hopefully we can get it this year. We had about three girls but this year we have so many more girls so we can compete in different events. We will have a women's bow hunter team and recurve team and maybe more than that so that's really exciting. Now that we're starting to get more women on the team now we can actually compete in those competitions where before we couldn't. We have a really good chance um, for winning those team like titles because I saw the competition last year and if we do it right we can certainly achieve that goal. Now that we've grown the team and we've added the quality along with the quantity our goal now is to when we go to these shoots to have multiple teams compete. So in the past we've always had our individual shoots and we've been great on that. We've we finished ranked nationally every year. 
And the one thing to remember when we go to the shoots, we're usually competing against schools that offer this as a scholarship. We're a club sport. So we're competing against kids that are getting a full ride to do the sport. So it's pretty impressive that we win to begin with. Um, but now what we're doing is we're actually building teams. So we're gonna be competing in hopefully five or six different team competitions as well as the individual. The more competitions, the better chance of bringing home more trophies. And that's, that's what we're looking to do.